What y'all what y'all talking about? What y'all talking about? What y'all what y'all talking about? What y'all talking about? What y'all what y'all what y'all talking about? What y'all talking about? What what y'all what y'all talking about? If you ain't talking the real, then we ain't gon' talk to ya. What y'all talking about? What y'all what y'all talking about? What y'all talking? What 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 y'all what y'all talking about? What y'all talking about? What what y'all what y'all talking about? If you ain't talking the real, then we ain't gon' talk to ya. Hey, what's up, what's up, what's up? This is White Tap coming at you. I'm over here in the corner trying to do my tech stuff. Yes, we setting it up, we setting it up. Log on, log on, log on. Log on. We are here. Mr. T Man, the ball, T Hoof. Yes, we are live. Yes, 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 yes. So. Before we begin, we want to tell you to go on our YouTube page, go on our website, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. If you like what you see on social media, like and share, like and share. Like and share. And if you want to be a blessing to us, you can donate as well on the website. Yeah, so we can keep this great content coming to you and every day. Isn't there well, PayPal? What's the PayPal or Cash App set up? Uh, Mr. T Mandible. I'll have all oh. that. I'll have all he that does later all that. on the uh, on the Facebook. Yes. But um, yeah. What up? What up? It's your boy T Mandible, <laughs> aka T Man, BKA Anthony Hu. <laughs> Mr. Who? I didn't. Get, I didn't get to do that, so I had to. I, had I to know. Go. I was waiting for you to come on. Yeah. So, Mr. Mandible and I, I had to go ahead and load up the phone so we can see who is going to be commenting and things to that nature. Right, so right. we can respond while we're through our conversations. Oh, yeah. Because you know our conversations is serious. Very. I love our conversations, okay? And I love everybody coming in, you know, commenting. Letting us know uh, what you think, what you think about the situation, and anything that we're talking about is is real dope. And feeding into the conversation and creating it better as well. We appreciate you, and we appreciate everyone that tunes in. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So, Mister Hoof, do you want to announce what we're talking about today? Well, today, today, we're talking about domestic violence. Boom! Why you punch me in my face? <laughs> <laughs> Stay in your place. But before we no, talk about that, though, no. I was thinking, uh, there's one thing I do want to talk about. Sometimes you want to go to a place where everybody knows your name. <laughs> I can't. And they're always glad you came. <laughs> you want to be where you can be. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. <sighs> where troubles are all the same, but you want to go <sighs> where everybody knows your name. Well. Okay, on a serious note now, you know we joke and clown around, but domestic violence is something that's really serious. Definitely. And we grew up around it, it grew, and I can honestly say in my home, what about you? Yeah, I've, I've seen it. I've seen it. I've seen it. I've been around it. Friends, uh, parents going at it. Uh, I've actually been a, a, a product of that a couple of times in my lifetime. Everybody, everybody's been through it. Everybody's seen it. It's all over Facebook. It's all over YouTube's. Celebrities. Twitters, celebrities, uh, love and hip hop drama. Oh. Everything. It's always, it's always something though. It's Marriage always something. Marriage boot camp. Marriage boot camp. Oh my goodness. So our topic, domestic violence. Yes. So I also did some research, and if anybody is in a situation to where they feel it's not safe for them and they need to get out, the domestic violence hotline is 866-365-7507. Again, 866-365-7507. That's the domestic violence hotline. You could also call 911, the yes. non emergency or the emergency line. The simple fact is, domestic violence comes in all shapes and forms. It doesn't even have to be physical, it could be mental, verbal, but majority is physical. Yes, yes, yes. You see a lot of it. And 
sometimes uh, it's the verbal things that gets you to that point of where you just want to go upside somebody's head. I mean, that sounds bad, but just, just you know how you feel if somebody coming at you or they're downing you or they're coming at a situation where you know when you're getting real upset, you might want to do something. But the best thing in that situation to do is to, like, walk away. You know what I mean? Put your head down, walk away, probably knock something over, I don't know, <laughs> to get the frustration out. Just, ah! But just, just walk away because putting your hands on the other other person is not, like, a way to deal with that no. situation at all. You know? But here's the thing. We're going to talk about it. Let's talk about the celebrities aspect first because we have <laughs> NFL players. We have oh, yeah. NBA players. We have rap stars. We have singers in the limelight right now right. due to that. So... Let's go with back, what, last year? Last year, okay. Ray Rice. Oh, Ray, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Punching, was she married to him or she got married I after think, him? I think that they were married. I think they were married. Okay. He cold knocked her out in the elevator. And she still stayed with him. There's not enough money in the world for me to stay with you, boo-boo. That's love. That is not love. <laughs> if a man or a woman put, I'm but pointing. I'm laughing at it, but it's not. It's not. It's not a laughing matter. It is a serious situation, though. But if it, a man puts their hands or a female puts their hands on you, they do not warrant to be knocked out. They warrant to be left. Right. Pack your stuff up, deuces. Gone. Yeah, because that's that's. If it happened once, it definitely you, can happen again. You put your hands on me. I put you in handcuffs. Or six feet under. You heard of love. BC, before Christ, during Christ. You will not put your hands on me and think you gon' The only thing Mr. Dalton do is put his hands on me, right? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> A PG-13. Well, let me, let me get my tea on that. <laughs> I'm just saying, literally. On a real note, my husband and I, I we, no. The only, we're married. Our marriage is sacred. We love each other and respect each other. Now, we may get mad at each other right. and walk away so we don't verbally say something that's abusive or verbally say something that's not nice to one with someone. Right. You know what I mean? But I have heard in the stores, wait until we get home, wait until we get in the car, I'm going to whoop your tail. Yeah. <laughs> I only got one mama and one daddy. And I'm grown now. So I'm sitting there, my husband like, mind your business, baby. Mind no. your business. Why am I going to mind right. my business when this person could be up on the newspaper the next day? But, you know, yeah, that, that's, that is a serious situation. It but... is. And people keep going. It's like change your mindset. If he loves you or if she loves you, they would not put their hands on you the right. wrong way. And, you, and they always say that stuff. They say, they say, I'm only doing this because I, I love, love you. you. <laughs> you don't love nobody. Ain't, you that need ain't therapy. True. That's what you need. That and you need true. Jesus. You gotta get, yeah, you got to get rid of that anger, man. A lot of people are easily angered. and It's gotten worse, though. And, but but see, now I, it's more in social media. Now everybody's seeing it. You know what I mean? It's not only the superstars, it's not only these rappers, it's not only these movie stars. It's people that's just like going on about their arguments and arguing, 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 arguing. And then and then there's always that one person, instead of stopping it, they're the type of people that'll put up their cameras. You know what I mean? Po yes. Post it on Facebook, post it everywhere. Like, yo, so-and-so was just beefing up the street. Look at this, I got a video of it. You know what I mean? It's stupid. Yeah. I, think it's, I think it's dumb. I think it's dumb. But, um... Hey, brother. My brother logged on. What's up? What's oh, up? What's nope. Up? It's my sister-in-law. Hey, Shonda. <laughs> but um, before video cameras, before cell phones, it was happening in our homes. And what was told to us growing up, what goes on in this house stays in stays this house. In the house. But that's Serious. creating a cycle, right. a generation cycle. You see mom and dad fist fighting or verbally cussing each other out or verbally threatening one another. 
your mindset is not right because you're thinking this is normal. This oh, this is just the norm. You know what I mean? Right, 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 right. But no, we need to speak about it. We need to seek the proper help, the proper guidance, so we don't fall into that relationship situation. Right. So we don't fall victim to death or our kids and because it's... if it starts with mommy... Sometimes it trickles down to being beaten on the kids' necks. Right, right. That's a that's a real serious situation. That's real. and uh, believe me, I've seen it. I've seen it. Like, like I knew a girl once. I mean, she got out of it because she actually beat dude up. <laughs> but it was a situation. <laughs> she yeah, she she took him out. Uh, mm. beat him up. It was it was the end of that. And they their relationship was over. But he uh. How did it happen? It was more like it started out. He was real angry. They always arguing about small stuff, and it was like more of him. It wasn't even her. It was like more of him. I've seen it myself, but I don't know, know like seriously what's been going on in the house. But what I've seen is, is like he one day he bum rushed her and he pushed her and pushed her. This and that, blah blah blah, and then probably like a couple days later, it was more like it was more like you seen him jacked up. And talking about he just got out of jail, and <laughs> what happened probably, was mm-hmm. she 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 waited until he was uh like just relaxing, and Molly walked him. Bow here, take this pan to the head. You know what I mean? She beat him up, called the cops. Like, hey, listen, he put his hands on me, and they took him down. Oh yeah, because they took him down because they will take the woman's word before the man's word. And they took him down. Unless it's on video but they showing had, opposite. But they had witnesses. They had she had witnesses of the things that he'd done to her and all this other stuff. That blah blah blah. Yeah. But they ain't together. But why did you stick around that? She long? stuck around. She stuck around for the simple fact of she still, you know, how it's, it's she still loved him. I can love you from a distance, boo. That's the that's the <laughs> right, 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 right. Right. Well, my grandmother called me and my wife Ike and Tina, and and, and I'm not Ike. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not Ike. I, I just heard doo 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 yeah. doo doo. Eat the cake, anime. Uh, mm, I, I saw that movie, and that was mild compared to what Tina Turner said really happened. What well, really happened? That was just what was that more was just... gruesome. She said that was mild of that right, movie. Right. But that was real well, because that, was, that real. was her real life. And she dealt with that and her kids dealt with it. And she took on his kids. Right. Out of him cheating them kids before right. they got married right. and during the marriage. Right. Look at here. The first time she finally fought back was in that limousine when she really knew who she was. Like she, she finally came off. to in that limousine, <laughs> she whooped she on him and that whooped she on walked him good. Out. But why do you have to wait for it to get that far? I the think the first time he hits you, the first time he pushes you, bounce. Cause it's gonna get worse. I think that time in that time frame, she was more scared that if she do leave, he will find her. And, and, and think about it. That it's a different time now. It's a different time. Way different time they now. They still can what, find you now. Or the protections saying, don't do nothing. That's a laugh. I'm just that's saying, a this piece is, of paper laughing. That matter. time frame with Tina Turner and Ike Turner is a whole. Is like a whole different era. A whole different era. Like a dude probably was able to put his hands on his wife and, and like he just put her in her place. That's yeah. what they look at it as. Yeah. Now this time is a whole nother ball game. Put your hands on one of these women right now and see what happens. <laughs> but some people still let it. Yeah, they let they it. Could they could be right it. there when it's going down and be like, that ain't my business. Yes, it's your business. We holding you accountable as well. Right. You are right there watching him put his fist on in her face or whatever, and you're not trying to break it up. You're not, well, I, that ain't my business. We supposed to mind business. our business. You're I, the punk. I, I remember, call you a punk on national air. You I remember, are a punk I remember if a few you allow years that ago, to happen. A few years ago, I was in Canada. And it was, it it was, yeah, you can say punk. You a punk. You a punk. Yeah. You a punk if you put your hands on a woman. Yeah. Why don't you go put your hands on a man (laughs) and see how that turn out? Right. But, but I was, I was once in, (laughs) (laughs) I was, I was in Canada one time and, um, I've seen a domestic violence case. It was, it was kind of, it was kind of crazy. Like, I guess the girl, uh, looked at another guy or something in the club look this was years ago looked at him and you hear him screaming what was you looking at him for 
he said hi. And I said hi back. Oh, la, 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 la. And, and the dude is in her face, like all in her face, talking like if he was to spit, it would have it hit her in the lip. You know what I'm saying? And he's all in the face. And I'm talking to my boy. I'm like, they sitting there laughing. I'm like, yo, he about to knock her. I'm like, yo, why don't you, you know, let's do something about it. And, they, and what it is, some people that's innocent, not some people that's bystanders saying and they're like, nah, they ain't going to do nothing because they going to get right back together. You know what I mean? Me, I, I stepped in. I stepped in. It wasn't no violent step in. I had to had to grab him. I'm like, yo, chill, man. Either way it go, that's a female. And he's looking like, no, she looking at all these dudes up in the club, this and that, blah, blah, blah. I'm this and that, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, I understand that, man. I understand how you feel. But this ain't going this ain't gonna justify that you, you know, you all in her face. Did, did, did he have a ring on the fingers? I don't know. I didn't I ain't pay attention to their fingers. Mm. But I know the one mm. thing he I went he went to he went to I went to pull back. And when I pulled back, his hand went like this. It's like, wow. As I'm pulling, he slapped the crap out of her. He slapped the crap wow. out of her. But as I pulled him back, I didn't know the girl had family that was in the club. He probably didn't know either. As I'm grabbing him back, it seemed like I was jumping. I was in the, I'm, I was in on the fight or something. I'm just trying to break it up. Dude jumped. Her cousin jumps way over at her. And he see his fist come down. Wow. And they started beating. That's what I'm talking about. And I stepped okay, out. I'm like, I don't, well, y'all I don't promote violence. Okay, let's just be clear. But that's what family's supposed to do. If somebody step getting, in, you need you that. You step in. You need that. But it's a. It, but a lot. But that's so disrespectful. And one of my friends. Though. But one of my friends were telling me they were like, she was like, oh yeah, they went back together. They were back together. And, and he's still hitting her. One of wow. my friends from Canada was telling me this. Okay, so my brother chimed in now, my brother-in-law. They stick around because they know nothing else if that's what they were taught was the norm. And as you said, Nicole, in the old way, you shut your mouth about what's going on in the home. Um, well, honey, times have changed. My husband has never even... Oh, this is my sister-in-law typing. My husband... Uh, my husband has never even thought about putting his hands on me. My husband is built the old way, and his father taught him to never hit a woman. Yup, Pop sure did, and have never witnessed never his dad put his hands on a woman. Yup. Never it, hit a woman. It's, that's it's a, sad because... That shouldn't even be on your mind. Like in the rap industry and the actors and everybody that's in the limelight. Like, remember Chris Brown and Rihanna when they were dating? They... they were rumors, um, it came to light that they would have physical fights. Literally, she get jealous, she want to start punching on him. Right. And then he get jealous, he wants to start punching on her. <laughs> and then when it came to light that they both was doing it, they're saying, oh, she's a woman. Both of y'all are dead both wrong. Of them are doing it. Women, keep your hands to yourself. Light and men, marks. keep your hands to yourself. Scratches. But Bow Wow, the girl in the that elevator <laughs> leak, I love TMZ. Bow, Bow because took that they L. get it. People Bow wow will took sell that it L. to Sorry, get that dog. money. Sorry, Bow no, Wow. No, but I sent you that video. Bow Wow was the hostile one. Bow Wow was coming up on her, taking off his and coat like in said, the elevator. It's, it's proof. Nobody doctored that elevator view. And like I said, Bow Wow still took that L. <laughs> oh, she caught him. Get in my Good. face again. But she's stupid. She stayed with him, got off the elevator with him, went to the place with him. Stupid. Run the other way. It must have got real aggressive after that. I don't care how much money you have, but if you are not treating me 100% like the queen I am, the daughter of God, then you need to keep it moving. And God gave me my king. Got your king. Yes, I do. <laughs> Yes, Shamar, my husband's on now. Your father, yes, we know he was a lover. Trust me, all six of y'all. Right. <laughs> but and some... I love you, Pop. <laughs> but, you know, right, right, right. See? <laughs> but, but, uh. Oh, he was a rolling stone, like Papa my biological. Was a rolling stone. Mm -hmm. Uh, my biological father, Randy, both of them got along very well. I figured out why when he told me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um. Uh. But the problem with it today, though, these women are take women are taking it out of 
out of uh, whack that saying that okay, they're all in these guys' faces. They're all in these guys' mm-hmm. faces, and they're in their mind they're thinking that he's not going to hit me because I'm a woman. But they're all in their face and putting, putting their, you know, their fingers all in their face and screaming and smacking and punching. Some guys will sit there and take it, but to a certain point. Mm-hmm. Once that, once they hit that point, like you, these girls are mushing you in the face, smacking the face. They keep, you know, the women keep following. But the thing is, some of these women think that they're not going to put their hands on them because they never put their hands on them. But once you make that 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 guy snap like that. It's There's over. No turning back. That guy gonna snap me, gonna knock you down, cause you put your hands on him. You know what I'm saying? Or you keep, uh-huh. you keep, you keep pushing that situation that shouldn't be, you know, be pushed. Cause if you keep pushing the guy, believe me, he's gonna snap. Yeah. He's gonna snap. And Mr. Dalton, we already talked about the Ray Rice and how I called her stupid for staying on national TV, blasting everybody nationwide knew how he laid her out. And then she want to get on TV saying, I love him. That's why I'm staying with him. Stupid. You mm-hmm. need therapy. You really need to go learn how to love yourself. Because evidently, you don't love yourself enough to be staying with somebody. I don't care how much money you got. <laughs> Y'all see my face, if, any, right? if anything, if anything, sue him for that money. You want that money so sue bad. Him. He hit me. She don't even... That prenup, whatever was in that prenup, she could have got something. Uh-huh. Your dignity and respect for yourself is worth more than money any day. Any day. But that's the problem with this generation and society right now. They lack the value. They lack their safety. Right. Their friends would be... Oh, and that's not friends either. If you videotaping your girl or your man getting beat up. Right, right, right. How you how you say you love me, but you videotaping and not calling the police to help me. Right. But then for them to say, oh, she'll be back with him tomorrow. Or be on Facebook. That's what they say, yeah. Being on Facebook talking about, oh, I can't stand him. This beep, beep, beep. And this, da, 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 da. And then next week, I love you, Pookie. All I love that you, is stirring up the fire. That. That's just stirring up the fire right there. Really? A lot of guys, a lot of girls, a lot of guys do it. A lot of girls do it. It's just, it stirs up the fire when you start saying that. Now now people looking at you like, I ain't jumping in that no more. Because a lot of situations, like, like the guys, like the girl or the guy always break up or they always arguing and this and that, blah, blah, blah. And the friends see it, the family see it, and they're like, "Oh my God, why they? Oh my God, they doing it again? Whatever." Well, they back remember, at it. remember the last time we we, we broke mm-hmm. it up, and she said, "I'm done with them for mm-hmm. good." And then a week later, they got back together. Mm-hmm. It's like crying wolf. Remember, he slapped her in the face, and she was like, "He just loves me." Or oh, he'll break your jaw. They ain't love. They ain't That's love. That's not love. And my husband says they still together. But doing better and talking to other couples after counseling. Baby, I love you, baby. I love you, Mr. Shamar. I'm, I'm talking to my husband right now, y'all. Baby, she's still stupid. She should have left. Because that knockout meant he did it before. Because he cold knocked her. He and we talk about Ray Rice. He, he did. He felt too comfortable. And Bow Wow taking off his jacket all up in her face on the video. I was like, ah! Yeah, I want to see more of that situation with Bawa. I mean, oh, we yeah, see the we elevator. Were, we, we seen the elevator, but what happened after? We seen, we seen the aftermath of his face and then her looking like, yeah, I did it. She's like, and? But I bet you she back with him. Right. How much you want to make bets she's back with him? Probably. And then remember Probably. Love and Hip Hop with Ray J? Um, was oh, he when, married to her or was he dating her at the time? I think they're da- they, were, they dating. were dating. How she threw food at him, then Don't threw wine water, then him. wine. And then she and tried no, to come over to him and he just pushed, pushed her, her out, out the, the side. Way, and she fell, she right fell in, in the pool. water. And then she said verbally on national television, oh, now I'm really going to beep that beep. Okay, really? But then he married her. He Idiot. Married her. I'm, I'm just, I, I don't get it. They don't love you if they hit you. That's psycho love, and that's something you don't want. No, you, 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 you. But that stuff on, on like, love and hip-hop and, and, and all that stuff, I think that's just, a lot of that stuff is real, but a lot of it is the producers telling them to do that. Do that, for show. For the show, ratings. so they can get ratings and get more money for all that, but. But your character's being questioned. 
you, you, you're now, not looking cute. You're looking like idiots. Yeah, people, that's me, per se. Everything <laughs> we say here is how we feel. It's all yeah, but I, like I said, go back to the. I'm going back to the part where like the women know. Like I watched, uh, I think it's the View. Whoopi Goldberg on the View, right? And, oh, and I love Whoopi. She be going. And out. she was <laughs> she was taken up on the men's side of like domestic violence. She was saying more of mm-hmm. like the women, the women, because they were saying, "Oh, uh, the men. I mean, a man shouldn't put his hands on a woman. A man shouldn't put his hands on a woman. A man shouldn't put his hands on a woman." They just kept saying it. Mm-hmm. And Whoopi, Whoopi was like, "Well, before the situation happened, what did the woman do?" What did she do to make him? I mean, in most of the cases, it's not like that. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Sometimes a guy just, ah, you didn't do what I told you to do. Mm-hmm. But but she and she was like, and what Whoopi was saying was like, <laughs> no woman should put her their hands on a man. I'm in agreement, point blank, both of them. Cause you don't you don't know what that man been through that day. You don't know if he's at a breaking point right now, and you just blew him up right there. Now he's about to knock you out loud because you hit him. I mean. But she was just saying, Whoopi was more on the point of saying that, like, she know that women grew up thinking that a man shouldn't hit a woman. A man shouldn't hit a woman. You know what I mean? Should not. But a woman shouldn't provoke him to, I agree. to get him to that point. I agree. But if he's a real man, he will walk away and leave the situation. But sometimes when you walk away with some women, not all of them, but when sometimes when you walk away, she will follow you and keep. And I've seen the that's video. That's why I leave. I know. I've, I've seen look, the video I've the other day. I've seen firsthand when I was in be- high school, college. I seen firsthand. He'll walk away, and she's right behind him. Right, right, pushing right. Pushing him up, like you know, I'm just, I'm doing this just in the. Like, oh, not oh, in him. I'm suing. <laughs> I'm suing. Ah, I didn't touch him like that. Ah, I'm suing. She messed up the waves in the back. You know what I mean? Ah, ah, ah. (laughs) But they be smacking him upside the head, calling him, you no good, nothing. Like, baby mama drama. That's a perfect example. But when you, the thing is, when you down somebody, they automatically get in defense mode. Mm -hmm. When you're downing somebody, like, like, like I said about that video, I've seen that woman, and like, the dude was just sitting there chilling. She came at him, was saying, you ain't this, you ain't that. Baby I bought your drama. sneakers. I bought your clothes. And he Walmart. was like, yo, chill. Oh, she stripped him. No, not that one. That one? No. No, okay. this one, they were all sitting at some car show or something. And he was just pushing it away, like, yo, just chill. You know what I mean? Chill. And everybody was like, yo, leave that man and no, he going to knock you out. And she was like, I don't care about this dude. He lived with me. I paid for this. I paid for that. He ain't going to And she mushing him in his face, mushing him back real hard. And next thing you know, next thing you know, she mushed him one last time. And he said, I hate you. Mm. And he kept hitting her. Mm. And it took like, at least like four people to give him get her off him. And he was like, you see what you made me do? And he was mad. He, he, was, he was like, you seen what you made me do. I didn't want to hit you. You seen what you made me do. And they all grabbing him. And you see him run off. He went off to the side. And he uh, drove off. And they all laughing at him. Like, ah, we told you not to hit him. We told you to leave him alone. But <laughs> wow. You know those, those haggers in the back. Them, them people that's haggling in the back is funny, though. They were like, wow. we told you. Ah, he's... But but he was trying his hardest. It, it, it took him It took him like five, ten minutes of poking, poking him. Just kept poking him. That video was long. Right and when she kept you poking that, You ain't this, you ain't that. And he was like, I'm just trying to enjoy myself. Right when you said that, she's attacking his character in oh, public. Down him. Oh, she's man. downing him. She's disrespecting him. Now, I don't grant anybody being hit or anything else. But ladies, listen and listen clear. No matter what nationality it is, a man has his pride and his dignity. But if you're out here disrespecting him in public and clowning him and everything else, when he's given his 100% to you and to the family, you dead wrong. Don't ever disrespect that man. Because if that man is putting food on your table, doing what he got to do to make sure that you and your uh, kids are taken care of, don't ever disrespect that man. Don't you know I seen a video of a man taking his son to Walmart to go shopping and she was video calling him a clown saying he's a buster because he's not getting Tommy Hilfiger. Oh. He's not getting Polo. He's not. Baby girl. Oh. 
Oh. There's a lot of men out there that's not taking care of their kids. Be happy he's taking care of his. Don't clown him. Don't videotape him. And you did it in front of the child. Right, right. The kids don't need to see that. Kids don't need to see that. The male going to think that, like, now, the boy is going to think it's okay. if you see a dude hitting on her, she's going to be like, oh, my God, he put his hands on me. Right. You out here blatantly. Facebook Live. That goes everywhere. 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 So you watching, somebody else is watching, somebody else is watching what you watching. You just humiliated this man, downgraded him on being a father, and all he wanted to do was take care of his son and get him I seen clothes. something like that too. Like I think he bought I seen a video when a dude came in with some sneakers. And it was it was Nike's and, and she wanted Jordan. And she said, My son only wears Jordan. Ah, I'm clowning you because you can. You only bought them Jordans. Oh, because not Jordan. You you bought them Nikes. I, I saw rock that. Nikes. You only bought you bought them I Nikes. Love Nikes. My son only wear Jordans around here. We only pay Jordans. We pay for Jordan. That's stupid. Um, that's stupid. Jordan, huh? let let boo boo. Jordan has not played in the NBA for years, and his sneakers ain't all that. And I don't know why people pay that ridiculous price and wait online for it. You know, they literally fight. Like, you said that video about her clowning him. Yeah. Dudes will be fighting chicks for those sneakers online. Right, right. Right. I think Really? You, to be Over clothing and material? You want to hit were, a woman and everything else? Really? I, I, just, I, just, I was shocked dude didn't, like, like uh, throw the sneakers at her or something. I would have been so upset. Like, I would have been upset. I ain't even going to lie. I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. So I buy my son some Nikes. And you say all he wears is Jordans. Well, okay, when I get my son to come over to my house, he's going to wear the Nikes that I bought. <laughs> Either way it go. You know what I'm saying? But it's the fact that, like, she downed him on, on Facebook. Like you said, Facebook Live. She videotaped him and talking about she she took pictures of the, of the sneakers and talking about, oh, they, you know, ah, why he buy these sneakers? Ah, he too cheap. Nike he buying is not my cheap, son though. And, Nike is not cheap for females. And she was dogging him about the sneakers those. he had on. I'm I, I I tip my hat for him for not even saying nothing like out of the norm, you know, like or getting real violent with her. You know what I'm saying? Because that she was coming at him, and this is live on Facebook coming at she, him. She, I know, I saw. Yeah, live on Facebook. I tip my hat to that man. That you know, what I mean, because that 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 stuff can make a man go crazy. Just disrespecting them and making them feel less than. Right, right. But here's another thing with that is a tribute to domestic violence, alcohol, drugs. Say they're in the need for a fix. Or say that you pour out their liquor. Oh, or yeah. you pour it down the thing. They will fight you because of that alcohol. That disease that they're carrying. It is a disease. Alcohol, drugs. There is mental illness. My brother just typed in on about mental illness. We must understand also that a big majority of the black males were raised in single families homes right. by their moms. So unfortunately, this new generation of males have unwanted female tendencies. Ooh, you ain't never lying on that one, oh, brother. That's a good then one. he says, as example for Bow Wow, yup, taking his jacket off to fight a female is out of a male's character. Sure enough is, this is also an issue men fight and struggle secretly with masculinity issues. Many of the black communities don't know how to seek the proper help. Bro, yes! Now that right there, boom! That's a, yeah, that's a great way to put it. Yes! That's a great way to put it. And I just had to respond to that, brother, with the target bullseye. Yes. Jordan, don't yes. There's another one that about the Jordan. Yep, Jordans don't pay my bills where we are trying to pay our mortgage off in 10 years. Right, right, right. Exactly. I know that's right. I just think that, you know what I mean? But it goes both ways either. Like, a man should not belittle his woman either. Oh, I... Or, or, exactly. make, sure, or make sure she... Don't make her feel that she's... Less than. Less than what she is to you. She's supposed to be your queen. Yes. You're supposed to be her king. Yes. you both supposed to work together. And make things right. Yeah. You can't argue in front of the kids. You can't 
Degrade of, each like, other degrade in front of each the other. kids. Oh, oh. Period. Just don't degrade each other. Right, right, right. Oh, your mama this and your mama that. You don't talk to them about that either. Or or your dad don't this and your dad this and that, blah, 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 blah. Now you got your kids in the middle of it and your kids shouldn't be in the middle of it. And now they got to take side, choose which one. You know we love you, right? You know I love you, right? Your mother don't love you. She just used you to get child support. Or da 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 Right, That's right. verbal abuse too. Let's be real. And it's, yeah, it is not, yeah. I mean, yeah, and that's messing up the child psych. psych. The thing is, like, nowadays, uh, when you're in a relationship and you argue and you guys are like, something happened, like, I don't Ooh-wee. care if you pushed her and this and that, blah, 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 and the cops are being called. The cops is taking somebody down. If they don't feel, if they feel like there's a situation that, that went on, the cops are taking somebody down to the holding and you guys are going to be something's going to happen whoever the hostile one is the most right they will cuff somebody and y'all gone because one you wasted taxpayers money to call the police somebody going two down. they come show up to your house and it's a domestic dispute now what i also was saying about the order protection that's a joke. And I'm going to say that it's a joke because a woman was killed having an order of protection of her boyfriend and she stayed from him. But meanwhile, he still was able to kill her. How many times can somebody violate an order of protection and still get out of jail the same day? We're not paying a fine. We're not paying bail. Nothing. And then she ended up dead. She told him, what's it going to take for you to do something about him. You gonna wait until I'm dead? Wow. And that's and that's that's real. That's and that's real. real talk. And Buffalo has a special safe house for women that are really trying to hide from the one that is their assailant. Acu- uh, you know, she's yeah. accused him and then she um there's families there and they're strict when we wanna donate close to that house um is it Maryweather? what is it called um i knew the name of it i forgot anybody in buffalo help me out with it but you call to say you want to donate stuff for the kids or for the families that's there what is needed they tell you they set up a set time a different location and you can't come with nobody unless you tell them who's coming with you Right. Because they are here to protect the privacy of these people that are hiding from someone saying, if I find you, I'm going to kill you. Right. Ooh. Mm. Like, your family can't tell them nothing because the person will come to your family's home looking for you. It's true. That's true. Mental issues. Some right. really have mental issues. So the first sign you see in dating someone, run. If you see, <laughs> I'm, I'm run the other way. Don't run to them. Usain run Bolt. away from them. Law. Pew! I be Flash Gordon. Flash. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Haven House. Thank you, Lisa. Lisa, Haven House. what's up, Lisa? That's my homie from work. Haven House. Haven House. We do um. Easter baskets. Our church donates Easter baskets. Right. So we get together, we make the Easter baskets. Right. Christmas baskets filled with stuff or stocking stuffers for the kids. We let Haven House know. Right. And they'll give us a set date and time. And don't be late. You need to follow their rules because the simple fact is they're there protecting these loved ones. They're there protecting them because some literally have had shotguns put to them. Beat to where you are unrecognized. Right. And took months to heal. Someone's really scared, shook. Like if they see a car just like that person's car that they used to drive. I've literally seen one woman pee on herself because she was so afraid that was her ex-husband. Wow. I used to work with the criminals. As a paralegal, I had to walk away from working with criminals. Right. I was like, mm, you suspect. Mm, I <laughs> And I will minister to you, but when I see that you are not really receiving anything, okay, 
lock, lock. I think another situ- reason why some of these people don't leave is it's hard for them to let go. If that makes sense, it's hard for them to let go. They don't want to leave a situation that they're actually comfortable in. Even if he hit her, pow, or him, or she hit him, pow, I hate you. And then tomorrow, oh, I only hit you because I love you. You know what I'm saying? And then and they're, and they're comfortable with it. A lot, I'm, and that's I'm, a problem of its own. That's, that's a, an issue. That's a lifetime movie in itself. Oh, we <laughs> have, oh, remember Snap? They still got that show on Snap. Yeah, some of them people on Snap happen. It happens to be domestic violence. Either exactly. money, exactly, is either money, domestic violence, or they just didn't want to be with that person no more. <laughs> and it's all women. You, 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 some of them women are crazy. Some of them men cray cray too. Yeah, but I call when y'all hear me say cray cray, that means cray. I'm talking Zay, about cray, in, cray, in cray, Snap. Too. I don't want to die like some of them people. Oh, ha- they, 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 the they, one lady was like, she got away with it, and all of a sudden they was like, uh, well, how come you were picking up all of his money in places that people who owe money owe? Uh, cause he wanted me to, but nobody seen him in months. Oh, and then all of a sudden next thing you know, she broke down and was like, yeah, he's buried. 10 feet under the ground with concrete over him in a bag. What? Mm-hmm. What? If that ain't domestic violence, <laughs> she got rid of dude. Now, yeah. she put him in a bag in concrete, dug him they 8 to 10 feet under, and they found him. They was like, how she even manage? Look at here, boo boo. Snap is scary, man. I don't want to watch Snap, Snap no more. Snap is scary. I, I watched that and I was like, ooh, the blood of Jesus. I can't watch this no more. I watched Snap, then I look at my I wife. Because they carry. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, man. And then I, then I say something stupid. This is like the dumbest thing I would say. Here's the dumbest. I, look, I watch Snap, then I look at my wife, and then I'm like, if I, <laughs> if I wake up dead, I can't wake up dead. You tell me all the time. They're like, if I wake up dead, I'm gonna get you. How you gonna wake up dead? Just you, you awake? Once you dead, you dead. You bo-bo. gone. But anyway. Oh Lord. So Mark said fear and insecurity. Right, right. That's another reason why they sometimes they're they're scared to leave. It's because of that fear and insecurity. Like I can't make it on my own without them. I can't make it on my own without them. Think back this way. Is it worth showing your kids this is something to live as? Mm-hmm. Because if he gets tired of beating on you, your kids is next. Right. And then now you creating what he saw mommy and daddy do. Oh, that's how my marriage is going to be. Oh, that's how my household should be. Right. And you don't want you your kids. You're creating a revolving door to something that's not healthy that's not of God, and even if you're not, if you don't believe in God, that's still not healthy. No. But for the ones that know who you are and know what your worth is, don't ever settle saying you can't do it without them. You was doing it before them; you'll be doing it after them. Do you, and make sure that you are respected. I mean, but make sure it's proper, not putting your hands on somebody to get your point across. Then that is not somebody you need to be with. Right, right. I right. said it. These are Nicole Dalton's words. Love yourself. Definitely. Love like yourself. Queen Latifah said in U N I T Y. You put your hands on me, I'll put you in handcuffs. I was like, right, no, right. That's Queen Latifah. Under, boo. Six feet oh, under. I'm scared you of you are, anyway. Yeah. You six feet under. <laughs> Miss, I got, a, I got a license to kill over yeah. here. Love. I'm licensed, baby. Touch me if you want. I almost, so. I almost spit my tea out. <laughs> <laughs> my, look, when I told hubby I was getting a license, he was like, hold up. I'm supposed to be defending you. I said, but you can't defend if somebody's sticking us up with a gun, right? Then I got you. So now he's going to go take classes. I need Love. to go take me some Don't classes. get it twisted. I got the things at home with my right in the dead center, the head, the torso, you name it, I'm hitting it. And I got the red light on it, so where I shoot is going to hit, where the red mark hits. Triple beam. 
Lyrical ski. Scaring me. <laughs> She's scaring me. No. I'm scared. You need to know your worth. You need to know a man don't love you if he hits you. Like Eve. Eve talked about it in one of her songs about her friend. Right. With domestic violence. Right. Love is and blind. And how, yep, love is blind. Love is and blind, that's a good song. And her friend kept going back to him, back to him. She was like, you got me out here getting dudes to beat him up for hitting you, but then you going back. Right. So now you're making me look stupid. Right, it's a lot of so situations. How, how can you stop caring for somebody who don't even care about themselves? I think, I think... For some of these women, God forbid it even happen. I believe that some of those women that, or men, uh, the ones that goes through this and they constantly go through it, constantly go through it, they won't be happy until they're really in a situation where they really get hurt or something really happens. And then now you're looking at this person like, why, why really did I happened. even stay with you? Like, I'm talking about really happening. No, like, some is in a coma, wake up and still go back. Oh. That's really happening. Oh, well, that's a whole nother ball game. That's crazy. That's beyond crazy. That's crazy. That's what I'm saying. The mentality right now. Oh, he got money. I'm going to stick with him. Oh, yeah. He goes through these phases. But I forgive him every time. He bought me Gucci. But he brought me. <laughs> you know, I was talking about Gucci, how boycott is for life. I don't support and T1 that acts. I can't afford and Gucci. Any I can care disrespect, less. Period. But we talked about domestic violence. I was going. Violence. I was going. I was going to we'll buy that. About that. I was going to buy that blackface thing. I'm lying. I'm lying. I know you lying. You <laughs> see, I had to sip my tea. It ain't my business. You see, he had to turn the other way too. No, but I think I think that that's that is serious. Though a lot of people do go back to a situation where they're scared, but they're comfortable. It don't make sense. It don't. They're comfortable because that They're person is there. Because the person spoils them and gets them whatever they want and think it's okay. Oh, I'll beat her up and then I'll make it up and buy her a bag or buy her an outfit or take her on a trip. That'll make up for it. But meanwhile, they got to put the concealer on. They got to then do makeup wonders to cover up so the people don't be like, oh, what happened to you? Oh, daddy just punched mommy last night. Like it's nothing. You know what's real crazy? I, I, now, now that we talk, we talking about this. I, I remember I used to listen to Cameron, the rapper, and then it just, it didn't, it didn't dawn on me until now what he said in there. It was more like, it was, it was funny though. I ain't gonna lie, it was funny. It was kind of funny with the way he said, it, way he said it. But it, it, some people actually thinks this way. Like the guy, he said, Cameron said in a skit, he was like, when I meet a girl, the first thing I do. Uh, what do you say? I, 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 I slap her or do something to her, and he and, and he was like, the reason why I do that is because in the future she ain't gonna be like, hey Cam. He said when I start treating her right, she gonna be like, hey Cam, you don't why you don't treat me the way you used to. But I never think about that. But some people actually think that way. That's sick. Some people actually think that way. That's sick. I thought it was funny when he said it, but then now I'm thinking about it. Now I'm like, wow, it kind of makes sense. A lot of people actually think that way. I hit the girl first. And then when I first, you know, when we first meet her. And then, like, so later on in life, she ain't gonna be like, Cam, why you don't treat me the way you used to? And that's sick. That's sick. It is sick. Now that I'm, now that we're talking about this, I'm mm -hmm. thinking about it, I'm like, man, that's crazy. Mm -hmm. It's a whole skit on his, on his album. And how, how much you would make it bad, he do it? Probably. Probably. All I know is he the only dude that I know did a skit like that and it, it was it was i ain't gonna lie it was kind of funny though when you first hear it when you first i'm like oh shoot but that's sort of like promoting a little bit of domestic violence also. that is promoting that's promoting it big time and for them to promote it makes me disgusted like you promoting that's something you don't mind doing but like yeah but like what i said yeah you're right oh. <laughs> but like what i said like somebody and that's why i don't support some of them and he's one of them like earlier in the conversation, what people were saying, though, like some of these households, households lack a man mm -hmm. in the house to show you how to actually treat treat a lady. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? They lack they lack that father figure to show them how to treat a lady. And 
It's true. But see, then if they have uncles, then the uncles need to step up and be like, yo, youngin, we don't do that. This is how you treat a woman. Right. Because if your father's a poor excuse, you're still supposed to have family members step up and be like, nah, look at here. That's baby girl right there. Right. Let me tell you, when my biological father not in my life, he was he was a Papa Rolling Stone, want to pop in and out whenever he wanted to. Mm-hmm. My mm-hmm. godfather, mm-hmm. Francois mm-hmm. Frazier, mm-hmm. I love you, Pop. I call him my father. He is. He was there since day one. He was there at my christening. He was there day one. Still here day one. Day Beautiful. My kids call him Godfather. He is there. That is my father. So when I tell you when it's time for prom, I told you about that story when I went to the prom. Oh, he yeah. He had yeah. Elijah's father right in the middle <laughs> and told him, these are all her uncles. If she comes back with one hair misplaced, you're going to have a problem. That's real talk. When you have a village that is going to support you and you could go to them and be like, okay, um, something happens and they make one call and then all the cars pull up. My family crazy. My husband could tell you they crazy. Um, yeah, they don't they don't play. When it comes to baby girls, nah, they don't play. They right. like, yo. And they do old school. Now, some of my other ones that passed on, they be telling people, you be swimming with the fishes. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I always I always tell my son, I tell my daughters too, I'm like, don't ever in your life let another man like I tell my my daughters this, don't ever like if you ever get to, they they're young, so you know what I mean. Let them know why they're young. Don't you ever keep hmm? talking. Okay. Our guest is coming. Our guest is here. Oh, anyway. Josh, yeah, open the door. Don't she can't she can't open the door. But what I'm saying though was uh, I teach my kids that um, she can't open the door. Look, look at it. Look at her behind me. <laughs> look at it. Look at her behind me. I can't I can't get the door open. Okay. Lord Jesus, I can't get the door open. And it's popo outside. Anyway, um, what I teach my son is uh, to always protect his daughter. I mean, his sisters. You know, what I mean, you are, you are, your, 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 you know, their, their brother. Don't ever let no man put their hands on him. You know, what I mean, uh, my daughters. I always teach my daughters the same thing. I'm like, yo, don't ever let another man put their hands on you ever, because, you know, what I mean. Something gonna happen to these dudes. <laughs> That's how I feel about certain situations. Something is definitely we going have to happen. Josh Stubbs, attorney. Oh, how you yeah. doing, sir? Let me let me move my stuff over there. We're still live, so he could chime in too about what he thinks. Oh, sir, how are you? Good. Anthony. Gosh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And he is also my old professor when I was in school. He's an attorney, but he could tell you about himself as well. But what we're talking about is domestic violence. Oh, all right. So just introduce yourself. Okay, I, I'm attorney Josh Doves. I practice in Buffalo, all over Western New York. Um, and I don't have a lot of experience with domestic violence, fortunately. Uh, but uh, um, most of my practice is in real estate and estates and probate and stuff like that. Um, well, we're ending out. This is Y Tap, and Mr. Josh Dubs' interview will be aired Wednesday. And then any comments, or anything, we'll definitely have his business card, his information on how to contact him. You can then also inbox me, and I will get you over to him. But for now, this is Y Tap checking out. What y'all what y'all talking about? What y'all talking about? What y'all what y'all talking about? What y'all talking about? What y'all what y'all what y'all talking about? What y'all talking about? What y'all what y'all what talking about? If you ain't talking the real, then we ain't gon' talk to ya. What y'all talking about? What y'all what y'all talking about? What y'all talking? What y'all what y'all what y'all talking about? What y'all talking about? What y'all what y'all talking about? If you ain't talking the real, then we ain't gon' talk to ya.